Access for taking a cat character from 3 to Geo Max to Mix Mono. Uh, I'm bringing the animations back into Max. Uh, I've got a base cat rig here. It's using it's the base human model um, of the character. Uh, he's got no legs, but I'm going to use the whole cat rig. Uh, so, hide a character. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to add some toes. Uh, if you look at toes here, they call them digits. The um, problem with that is we're the same as the fingers, so you have double ups of names. So, first thing I'm going to do is change the name of that digit to toe. Now, both the digits are called toes. I do the same to this one. Two toes. I left on my toe. Now exporting this to Mixamo. Uh, main concern is we don't have any double up, double ups of names. Um, one thing Mixamo doesn't bring in is these footsteps, uh, which are pretty important for cat. So what I'm going to do is. I'm going to do use one of these toes for this footstep. Uh, obviously, the toes in the wrong spot, but most of the time it will be planted. So let's save this. Now, I'm going to hold the scene as it is. And take the pivot of this toe and center it on the footstep. Do the same for this toe. You can see that stuff's on the toes, but it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to grab this model. Export selected, uh, output this as new character. With an offset on the toes, uh, it comes up default, comes up with this error, but it doesn't matter. Now we're going down to Mixmo. Upload that character. Then, when you look at the character that it's brought in, you can see the toes are planted on the ground. Go next. And there you go, you can see they're facing the wrong way. But it's more about the position of them being planted. Uh, so we can go through some animations. You can choose any animation. Load it up. Uh, let's download it. We're doing 30 frames per second without skin. Downloading. And import folder for animations. Rename that. To dancing, get back to max. Now I'm going to call back the original model. Out the changed pivot pivots. Import. File contents, add the animation to the scene, animation on, leave its bones, you can do bones or dummy, 
It's casting a loop bones just because it's easy to read. Okay. Bring some of that animation. Got edit animation, cat, capture animation, source object, and then select pivot of the imported animation, target rig. Select base human and basically you just have to line up the names to the names. Um, if you have the names that doesn't line up, the you know, it's not required to line up the spines, um, the neck as well will be driven off the head. Uh, I've saved a layout a mapping preset for this. I'll just load that up. And what I've done is I have taken, go down here to the feet. So I've got human left platform. If I select that platform, I'm going to attach that to that toe that I shifted. And what we'll do is just grab that toe and we'll rotate it local. Let's put my snap. Let's rotate it local. 90 degrees, do the same for that toe. 90 degrees. And then we can see that dodgy toe is lined up with the platform. And for the most part, the platform is on the ground. There. Next step is to capture that animation. Grab the cat rig, go into the motion. Create a new absolute layer, click on that layer, collapse all the animation down onto that layer. One sample per frame, go OK. And we can delete these other layers, move that animation layer. Save that animation out. Dance test there. Set the entire range. Do, do, do. Sometimes that takes a while depending on the uh, size of the animation. Tools. Now. Go fetch that the original rig. There we go. And now it's just a matter of grabbing cat and clip, loading up that clip. to do that, but there we go. And there we have it. 